Hi guys, had a suggestion from Lid Motor that I should try making a small electric motor to drive one of my small electric cars. Now to do that I'm going to have to salvage some parts out of one of my other projects. Uh, these are my only neodymium magnets that I've got at the moment, so I'm going to have to pinch them out of this. I may even pinch the wire off this coil that I made. Um, I don't know if you can remember seeing this video, you may not have watched it at all, but it's a little generator. If I flick it quickly, it's just converting a circular motion over here into a linear motion here that moves the magnet backwards and forwards through the coil, and if we do it fast enough, it lights the LEDs. I've actually got an electric motor rigged up there so I can run it continuously. There's my neodymium magnets. I've actually got five there, I only need four. And I'll use this wire off one of the windings of my coil. I'm going to wind it round the remains of this bit of electrical tape because that's a nice cardboard core in the middle. There's my coil, so now we need to mount these on a spindle or an axle so that they can spin round in front of the coil, or at least so the coil can make them spin round. For the wheels for the car, I'm going to take the spools out of this old VHS cassette tape. There's a couple I've taken out of another one already. I think I'll use one of my storage boxes as the chassis for the car. So I can drill some holes through it for the barbecue skewer axles. Not that one I don't think, he's a bit he's a bit curved. The spindle for the armature is going to be this bicycle spoke. If I just pulse the battery on there, so we've got the general idea. Well, we're nearly there, haven't quite finished. If I just touch I've made a bit of a mistake using this um, storage container as the chassis. It's very flexible so every time I pick it up everything bends out of um, out of trim. So uh, we're just gonna have to go and see if it'll work on a flat surface. Test run with our homemade electric motor. Got to get the commutator just right. Okay, summary time. What have we got? We've got a plastic storage container as the chassis of my car. The wheels are made from VHS video cassette spools. The axles are barbecue skewers. Got lots of little green beads to space things about. This wheel has got a bit of polystyrene pizza base in a circle and a bit of cardboard on the outside of it to make a nice big pulley. Now on to the motor. The motor is, I don't know what gauge the wire is, it's some stuff that I took out of an old television a while ago, wrapped around a cardboard core, 9 volt battery, the armature is I've got four neodymium magnets there, a bit of polystyrene in between them to space them apart so that we can get the axle through. 
the axle is a piece of bicycle spoke that was already painted black. This side I've cleaned off all the way round it and wrapped one side of the coil wire around it to make continuous contact. This side I've just cleaned a strip along that side in line with the centre of the magnets and the same on the opposite side. So that acts as the commutator. I don't know if this will focus if I bring it in closer. Right. Are we focused? Right, if I just turn that you can probably see the paint. There's the paint and there's the bit that I've scraped off. Paint scraped off. So that acts as the commutator passing current when the magnets are in the right position to be repelled by the coil. So that's how that works. And then a little pulley on the end of the shaft which drives the back wheels, or front wheels as it was in this case, because it was going the opposite way to the way I expected. But there we go with thanks to Lidmotor for inspiring me again.